everybody and welcome back to the channel have you ever been a person who has no time to improve and get frustrated all the time because you're just not making any progress well today i actually have forby who's going to join us he is actually a man who touches grass he has a girlfriend he goes to college and he's a family man so he's somebody across the board who is extremely busy but still improves forby welcome man thank you so much for joining hello today. hello thank you for having me i appreciate you and if you see the gameplay in the background forby is absolutely insane go follow his twitch go follow his youtube this man is growing he is gonna blow up and if you want to be there before he gets you know overall blows up you want to be one person that he remembers you got to join on his channel now like what are you doing with your life but, but, <laughs> i appreciate it hopefully you're not wasting it you know not improving but today forby's gonna give us tips so i'm gonna lead every single tip and let's just break down some of these exercises they're gonna be simple but i think they're gonna be really effective i've already worked through forby with him and he's his brain is he's giga brain giga chad all right so tip number one you wrote down smooth tracking and target switching in any scenario why forby all right so you know this is primarily for you know the mnk players who um like to aim train on a normal basis uh when you're trying to improve playing these scenarios specifically smooth tracking and target switching are two of the most important things that you can have in apex legends even if you're not consistently target switching from one target to another immediately you're generally flicking in that direction right so if you can practice smooth tracking and target switching that will allow you to improve your aim as a whole and just start one clipping everyone you see and flick to the next person do the same thing that's great now for tip number two we're going into another platform that's different as well maybe you can explain what r5 is but you're going to practice strafe and other things such as movement and aim so kind of combining everything in an isolated environment so that's tip number two absolutely so r5 is a season three build of apex that has custom servers on it um, a couple of those servers that I use personally would be like one of the 1v1 servers as well as like movement practice and like uh, the construction building. And what you can do in those in those scenarios, especially the 1v1 uh, servers, is that you can practice your strafe and your overall aim repeatedly over and over and over again and just keep practicing that and essentially perfect your strafe, but also learn how to outstrafe other people, including controller players that play on R5. So if you're an MNK player that wants to learn how to outstrafe a controller player and still clip them, that's how you do it. Really great tip. Now, let us know in the comment section down below if you want us to cover how to install R5, but I think it's a great isolated tool because the biggest problem in Battle Royales is that you spend so much time in the menu looting and then you get no time fighting. So this is a fantastic tip. Now for the next one, tip number three, is range practice. I actually preach this one a lot too, but you have some additional thoughts such as, let's say, getting used to mouse and how it feels, hitting bots and so forth. So I'm gonna pass it to you. What do you think on that? Yeah, so this is one of the, the best things that you can do in game, in the game itself, to practice. And that's going into the firing range and just getting used to the way that your input feels in your hands prior to going to the game. You know, people will say, oh, I'm cold, you know, I'm not warmed up. This is one of the best ways for you to warm up as any input at that point. Um, and the ways that you can practice that is either just, you know, shooting your gun for 10 minutes or a set amount of damage, whether it be 10,000, 30,000, 50,000. Uh, or, you know, you can turn the bots to like full combat mode and try and create simulated pressure in the firing range so that when those situations happen in game, you're ready for it. Perfect. Yeah, I 100% I agree when simulating pressure, especially with the bots, because you, not all the guns are in R5. So naturally, you're going to have to go into the range and start practicing things, these things in different ranges as well. And just get a little creative which segues us to the next tip that you wrote down which is kind of encompassing time management but you wrote down a 10 to 30 minutes for just anything and then just putting a schedule so talk to me about that schedule and then how you implemented just putting this time in practice it seems all really simple but when you i guess when you really add in the time management that probably is one of the bigger tips and the harder part right yeah and this goes for you know like i said any input any game even it doesn't have to be apex but you should be practicing in some way between 10 to 30 minutes before you hop onto any game that you're trying to improve at uh with apex specifically you know you could spend 10 to 20 minutes on uh kovacs then go to r5 for another 10 to 30 minutes and then go into the range for another 10 minutes before you get into your game and although that takes about an hour when you combine the three that amount of practice pretty much makes you ready for every situation that's going to be thrown at you in the game that's fantastic I, I really agree with the regimen it's like learning a violin learning guitar spending time into your passion but you know doing it within a schedule and don't get too upset if you don't find yourself progressing fast i think it's more or less being diligent right just putting in the hours but not killing yourself over it would you agree with that 
Yeah, absolutely. And you don't have to you don't have to spend an hour practicing before you get on the game. You could pick one of those three, do it for 10 minutes and hop on and you're still going to be more prepared for the game than you would just going in cold. Fantastic. Now, this is an interesting one because this one actually kind of involves you practicing, but it's more or less tip number five is how you digest content or when you're watching others play the game and your mentality of why. Can you explain this one? This one's going to be a longer one, but I really want you to go into full detail about this one because I don't think people approach it, this mindset, and I it's probably one of the most important things in my opinion. Absolutely. So when you're when you're a player that has a baseline understanding of mo a majority of the mechanics that exist in your respective game, when you're watching your favorite creators, especially if they're mechanically talented, that's one of those things where you should be paying attention to what they're doing, how they're executing it and why they're executing it. Whether it be as simple as the way that they're strafing, the way that they're utilizing movement in gameplays, um, the way that they're using movement or not using movement to like uh, stabilize their aim in some type of way. It's one of those things where when you're watching these creators, you really should be like engulfed in their gameplay to further understand all of the decisions that they're making. And even if it's something that's muscle memory related, you gotta understand why it's muscle memory related and why they're doing it. So whether it be you're watching Lemonhead and trying to understand why he's super gliding left and right and trying to strafe on all these people, um, if you can't understand that, you have to think from the outside perspective, if you were fighting him, why is he doing what he's doing in that fight? How, what benefit is he gaining from that? And then you have to sit there and think about how you can implement that into your gameplay to replicate it on other people you're fighting. It's taking it to the next level where everyone kind of watches for enjoyment, right? When we watch sports, basketball, but how, instead of just enjoying the game and just letting it happen, asking the question of, why they're doing the things they do and you can still enjoy the game and have that pleasure and then watch the game it takes that next step to always want to improve and maximize your time which is the whole point of the, today's video that's why i brought forby in because if you have seen his gameplay just up until now and keep in mind my r5 and some of the stuff that you saw from aim training is my bad gameplay I'm also a person who has a limited schedule as well but i respect forby so much because he is I mean, he goes through the ringer. He's got so much on his plate, and yet he's still able to find time to talk to me today and break down some of his gameplay to hopefully share it and help you guys because he is somebody who is one of us, one of us. He he has one it all his us. life. <laughs> he's got it. <laughs> so any last thoughts for me as we, uh, we kind of wrap up? This, these were all fantastic tips, by the way. Yeah, and you know, when it comes to improving, right, one one of the things that people don't talk about enough is that you can't beat yourself up for the progress or speed of progress that you're making. You know, you have to you have to find some enjoyment in improvement for you to actually improve and you know, staying conscious of what you're doing, you know, in the moment, no matter what game it is, staying conscious and you know, having fun with everything is 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 extremely important to any growth in anything that goes that's just even a life tip right you have to enjoy what you're doing to get better at it so if you're like if you're beating yourself up consistently because of the progress that you're making or not making or how slow the progress is you're only going to hurt yourself at that point so try to have fun with it practice in all the ways you can try to further your knowledge in everything um as as much as you can learn as much as you can take in all of that information and run with it bonus tip all right so we were thinking about this post recording and we're adding in now this is a bonus tip that forby was like oh my gosh i gotta have this in really important words forby take it away we have three words for this tip shoot with intent it's one of those things where you shouldn't just shoot a mag to shoot the mag you should shoot the mag with intent of hitting every single bullet out of that mag you're trying to micro adjust every single time you feel your aim getting off whether you're you're shooting before or after the enemy you want to make sure that every bullet is shot with intent with intent to hit massive thing that people don't talk about it's 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 adding that extra level of perfection and if you want to be perfect to get those knocks get those one mags and really clutch out i know we were just we were literally just talking about and we know it's just a couple bullets but a couple bullets is the difference between a crack getting somebody knocked or having somebody back up because like whoa we don't want to fight this and it's what we're striving for. I'm literally, we were literally just talking about how time management and even my own time management of just trying to get it right. And they were like, oh my God, this is perfect. Forby, great explanation. Hopefully if you're watching this video, you took away some new things. Keep in mind, we kept it very 
high level because it needs to apply to everybody. And hopefully that mindset you take away and you actually come back to this video and say, hey, I learned something and I did improve. Orby, again, be sure to follow us channels. Thank you so much for coming on today and yeah, giving these tips. And we'll see you guys all in the next one. You guys have a good one.